like to wish you all a very good afternoon. This government makes me so angry. We are not a third world country. Because if you are young, you will be denied a living wage. This is real. This is real. Everything else is man-made, and we pay for it. Austerity is a strategic policy employed by indebted neoliberal governments that shrinks the state and pays the way for privatisation and market liberalisation. It's brilliant to see that parts of Torbay have gradually started to wake up a bit. We know what it means and we all help each other. We'll help the most vulnerable people in society because that's what we're about, even if the government isn't. He said, could you just give me something to eat? I don't have anything at all. We have children who come in and don't even get fruit and veg on their tables at home. So they come to the community centre to have just a piece of fruit. Finally I said to him, is there anything else that I can do for you at all? And he said, just one more thing. I said, what's that? He said, would you hold my hand for a while? It's a pretty cool slogan, I think you'll agree. If we're not those people that will stretch out our hands and say we will help you, then who will be? People are all coming together. Let's fight against the cuts. Let's fight against zero hour contracts. Let's fight for a ten pound minimum wage. Well, let me say to you, who's actually against austerity. Let's fight for a society where, as someone put it to me on the march today, we share the sweet town. We don't grab them and fight them all for ourselves and make sure that no one else gets any. This is a wealthy country, but the sweets are all being pocketed by less than 1% of the population. Whilst 99% of the population suffers under austerity, the corporate rich 1% benefit. Hello. I would like to talk to you today as a mother of five children. We have no food in the house. If you hadn't come, I would have gone out and I would have stolen something. Our young people have the right to go, to marry, and even rent to buy a property. They can even fight for our country where they can possibly die or seriously injured. She took about two hours to get there. I said, where have you walked from? She, I said, do you need more than just a bag of rice? We managed to fill her cupboards with some food. We gave her some furniture that she might need. She told me with two toddlers she had walked from Watford all the way over to Preston, what, about six miles, to get one bag of rice. I've been abused by my own children. They've taken one of my savings. I have to live on the pension that seems to be dwindling. There's too much money at the end of the money. He said, is it possible at all that you can help me? All right, they're going to chuck us into prison. They're going to kill us. They are. In the next 10 years, they want to get rid of 6 billion people. And it's happening. It's with austerity, it's with vaccinations, with all this horrible stuff. And that is us all fighting back against this. And that's us all I've got to say.